The Earth is full of astounding discoveries, and in this video we'll take a look at some of the strangest and most astounding ones. From scientists resurrecting dead organs back to life, to a chilling discovery in Egypt, here are the 20 most terrifying things recently discovered. Number 20. Resurrecting Dead Organs Back to Life Resurrecting something from the dead sounds like something that only happens in sci-fi movies. But a new discovery allowed scientists to accomplish a miraculous feat, reviving dead organs. The use of animal organs for human transplantation has been a topic of discussion and research for many years. One of the most promising sources of animal organs for transplantation are pigs. I know it doesn't sound ideal, but to address the organ shortage we're facing, we need pig organs. The main reason pig organs are a suitable candidate for transplantation in humans is because of their similarity to human organs. Pigs are genetically and physiologically similar to humans, making it possible for their organs to function in the human body. Researchers from Yale University successfully revived the organs of a dead pig by injecting a nutrient-rich fluid into the animals one hour after their time of death. Amazingly, the organs still showed cellular activity after six hours. The hearts, livers, kidneys, and brains of the animals were brought back to life. However, the animals never regained consciousness, so no pain was felt. This fantastic discovery might pave the way for animal organ transplants across the globe. Pig organ revival has the potential to address the shortage of human organs for transplantation, which is a significant problem worldwide. There are currently over 100,000 people waiting for organ transplants in the United States alone, and many of them will die before they receive a suitable organ. If pig organs can be modified to be safe and effective for human transplantation, it could save countless lives. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Fatal Bacteria in Dogs Do you have a dog? Well, you might want to be careful while playing with your beloved pets if you have an open wound or a fragile immune system. Capnocytophaga is a type of bacteria that's commonly found in the mouths of dogs and cats. While it's generally harmless to humans, in some cases it can lead to severe infections. Unfortunately for one man, interacting with dogs led to a life-changing infection and amputation. A man living in Wisconsin contracted an infection after merely playing with two dogs. He claimed that he wasn't bitten by any of them. The man was also in good health before contracting the disease. After experiencing symptoms such as fever, chills, and vomiting, the man was rushed to the hospital where doctors diagnosed him with capnocytophaga, a rare but potentially deadly bacterial infection. Despite aggressive treatment with antibiotics, the infection continued to spread throughout the man's body causing sepsis and organ failure. To save his life, the doctors were forced to amputate both his legs below the knee and his hands below the wrist. Capnocytophaga infections are rare, but they can be deadly, especially for people with weakened immune systems or other health conditions. The bacteria can enter the body through even the slightest break in the skin, such as a scratch or a bite. Symptoms can include fever, chills, vomiting, diarrhea, and muscle and joint pain. In severe cases, the infection can lead to sepsis, which can be fatal if not treated properly. While the risk of contracting capnocytophaga from a pet dog or cat is low, it's essential to take precautions to prevent infection. This includes washing your hands after handling pets, avoiding close contact with animals that appear sick, and seeking prompt medical attention if you're bitten or scratched by a pet. The man's story is a sobering reminder that even the most beloved pets can carry dangerous bacteria. It's important to take steps to protect yourself and your family from infection and to seek medical attention immediately if you suspect that you may have been exposed to capnocytophaga or any other harmful bacteria. Number 18. The Legless Tadpole Biologists were removing invasive American bullfrogs from a shallow pond in southeastern Arizona when they discovered something astounding, a tadpole that never got its legs. As the shallow pond was drained, Biologists around the area noticed a massive tadpole that was big enough to be mistaken for a fish. The critter measured a whopping 10 inches long, and it was most likely growing in the Chiricahua Mountains of Arizona for months. Bullfrog tadpoles are already bigger than other species, but the massive tadpole, which the scientists affectionately named Goliath, was on a whole other level. The creature's head resembled a large adult bullfrog, but with a round and blunt face resembling that of a tadpole. 
complete with fish-like lips instead of a typical frog's mouth. It bore a resemblance to a very young tadpole that had recently hatched from an egg. Despite being much larger in size than a typical newly hatched or even mature tadpole, the exact age of this unique creature is unknown. Typically, bullfrog tadpoles take two to three years to reach adulthood, developing legs around the one-year mark. However, this specimen either grew at an exceptionally rapid pace, far surpassing its peers, or remained in its tadpole form long after its cohort had metamorphosed into adult frogs and moved on. Number 17. 2,000-Year-Old Cemetery in Iran Oil drilling operations in southwest Iran recently uncovered a cemetery with giant urn-like tombs. The discovery left archaeologists and historians intrigued about the ancient civilization that created them. The accidental discovery was made during an oil drilling project along the Kuran River in the city of Avaz. According to Iranian expert Hossein Fezi, the vase tombs were placed in the direction of the river, indicating a potential connection to Mithraism, a pre-Zoroastrian religion that worshipped Mithra, the Iranian god of the sun, justice, light, and battle. This religion was widely practiced during the Parthian Empire between 247 BC and 224 CE. This powerful empire once spanned from central eastern Turkey to eastern Iran, but it was believed to have declined after Emperor Constantine embraced Christianity in the early 4th century. The vase tombs discovered in the cemetery were commonly used for the burials of infants and young children beginning in the Neolithic era, but their use was more prominent during the Parthian period. Preliminary research has indicated that the cemetery dates back to this period, providing insight into the burial practices and traditions of this ancient civilization. As archaeologists continue to explore this site, more information about the people who once inhabited the region may come to light. The oil company that stumbled upon the site was both delighted and saddened by the discovery. After all, the presence of an important archaeological site was wonderful for historians and archaeologists, but it prevented them from resuming operations in the area. Number 16. The Dragon of Death Discovered in Argentina In 2022, a remarkable discovery was made in Argentina that captured the attention of the paleontology world. A team of scientists uncovered the fossilized remains of a new species of dinosaur called Thanatos Draken, which translates to Death Dragon in Greek. A pretty cool nickname, don't you think? This animal ruled the skies millions of years ago, earning its nickname. This discovery sheds new light on the diversity of dinosaurs that once roamed the Earth and provided valuable insight into the evolution of these magnificent creatures. The Thanatos Draken fossils were found in the Plotier Formation in the province of Mendoza. The specimen discovered in Argentina had an enormous wingspan, measuring about 23 feet. Thanatos Draken belonged to Ashdarkids, a group of pterosaurs that lived during the late Cretaceous period around 70 to 100 million years ago. These flying reptiles were one of the largest creatures to ever take to the air, with wingspans that could exceed 30 feet in some species. The name Ashdarkid comes from the Persian word Ashdara, which means dragon. This is fitting, as these animals were truly dragon-like in appearance, with long toothless beaks and crests on their heads. They also had long necks and relatively short tails, which helped them to maintain stability in the air. There were several different species of Ashdarkids, each with its own unique characteristics. One of the most well-known species was Quetzalcoatlus, which lived in what is now North America. This giant pterosaur had a wingspan of around 33 feet and stood as tall as a giraffe on the ground. Despite its massive size, Quetzalcoatlus was able to take off and fly with ease, using its powerful wings to soar through the air. Another notable Ashdarkid was Hatsigopteryx, which lived in what is now Romania. This species had a shorter wingspan than Quetzalcoatlus, but it made up for it with a massive, robust skull. Hatsigopteryx had a beak that was nearly 10 feet long, which it likely used to catch and eat large prey, such as dinosaurs. Despite the intimidating appearance, Ashdarkids were likely not apex predators in their ecosystems. Instead, they probably fed on small animals like lizards, mammals, and fish. Some researchers have even suggested that these pterosaurs may have been scavengers, feeding on the carcasses of dead animals. Number 15. The Faceless Fish If you ask me about the creepiest fish in the ocean, I'll present you the Faceless Fish. This fish looks like an otherworldly visitor that somehow ended up in the Earth's ocean. This fish has been lurking in the depths of the ocean and rivers since a hundred years ago. 
and perhaps even longer. This strange catfish known as Typhlonus nasus is a member of the family Aspergindae, which is a group of catfish that are known for their ability to navigate in complete darkness. The species has a unique appearance, with a long slender body and a flat head that's adapted for burrowing in the river sediment. It also lacks eyes, as it is adapted to living in complete darkness underground. The discovery of this faceless fish also highlights the importance of exploring the hidden worlds that exist beneath the Earth's surface. Researchers often overlook underground rivers and caves, but they can be rich sources of biodiversity and provide valuable insight into the evolution and ecology of life on our planet. This fish lives in the Arabian Sea, off the coast of Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Japan, the Marianas, and Hawaii. We've only discovered this creature recently, and very little is known about its behavior and biology. Scientists are currently working on learning more about the species, including its diet, reproduction, and habitat preferences. They're also studying the genetics of the species to better understand its evolutionary history and relationships to other catfish species. Number 14. Mysterious Holes in the Ocean The seafloor is one of the most mysterious and unexplored places on our planet. Despite the tremendous technological advances, the ocean floor still holds many secrets that have yet to be uncovered. One of the most fascinating and mysterious discoveries made in recent years is the discovery of holes on the seafloor. Marine researchers came across an unusual discovery during their recent expedition to the relatively uncharted depths of the northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge. They stumbled upon tiny holes in the sediment arranged in dozens of straight lines with an incredibly neat and evenly spaced pattern. The strange thing about these holes is that they're located approximately 1.6 miles below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean and far away from any human activity. Researchers aboard the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration vessel Okeanos Explorer first spotted the holes. The robotic submersible they sent to the ocean depths sent back perplexing photos. After discovering the first set of holes, researchers found four more sets 300 miles from the first location. Researchers tried to take a peek into the holes to discover if an animal was living inside, but the submersibles weren't able to look into the black holes. The NOAA team is now seeking assistance from the public to unravel the mystery behind their discovery. Number 13. Live Bomb from World War II It's estimated that millions of unexploded bombs from World War II remain buried underground or hidden in bodies of water in various countries around the world, particularly in Europe and Asia. These unexploded bombs pose a significant risk to public safety, and bomb disposal teams work tirelessly to identify and remove them. Recently, an unexpected explosion occurred in Europe. An unintentional explosion occurred when experts attempted to defuse a World War II-era bomb that veered in Great Yarmouth, a town in England. The bomb, weighing 550 pounds, was initially found by a contractor conducting dredging work in the River Yar. Following this discovery, an explosive ordnance device team was called to the area. Roads were closed and the immediate vicinity was evacuated. Unfortunately, during the process of disarming the explosive, it detonated unexpectedly, causing a significant explosion. Before the defusing attempt, hundreds of individuals had already been evacuated from their homes and places of work. Number 12. Cookie Cutter Shark There are a lot of scary creatures lurking in the ocean, and this is definitely one of the most terrifying. Introducing the Cookie Cutter Shark. Its name might sound a little cute, but don't be fooled. The Cookie Cutter Shark, also known as the Cigar Shark, is a small species of shark that's often overlooked due to its size. However, this unique creature has a fascinating set of adaptations that allow it to survive in the deep ocean, including its distinctive method of feeding. The Cookie Cutter Shark is named after the unique pattern of bite marks it leaves on its prey. This shark has a circular mouth filled with sharp serrated teeth, which it uses to latch onto its victims. Once attached, the shark rotates its body using its lower teeth to scoop out a circular chunk of flesh from its prey. This distinctive feeding method leaves behind a cookie cutter shaped wound, which is where the shark gets its name. Cookie cutter sharks are relatively small, growing to a maximum length of just 22 inches. They're found in deep waters around the world, usually between depths of 2,300 to 4,600 feet. These sharks have a dark brown or black body with a light emitting organ on their ventral side that helps them attract prey in the darkness of the deep sea. 
One of the most fascinating aspects of the cookie cutter shark is its ability to survive in the harsh conditions of the deep ocean. Unlike many other species of shark, the cookie cutter is not a strong swimmer, relying instead on its unique feeding strategy to obtain its food. Additionally, the shark has a specialized stomach lining that allows it to digest a wide range of prey, including fish, squid, and even whales. Fortunately, cookie cutter sharks don't grow quite big. Could you imagine how terrifying they'd be if these sharks were larger? Number 11. Man Who Swallowed an Entire Spoon Have you ever swallowed an entire utensil by accident? It sounds crazy, but this actually happened to a man living in China. The man, who was named Mr. Zhang, swallowed an 8-inch spoon after being dared by his friends. Surprisingly, he claimed he didn't experience any discomfort despite the utensil being lodged in the narrow tube connecting his mouth and stomach. It wasn't until almost a year later that he sought medical attention after experiencing chest pains and difficulty breathing after being punched in the chest. He sought the help of doctors at Xinjiang Meikwang General Hospital, who performed surgery on him for almost two hours. Fortunately, the operation was a success. Number 10. Ancient Chinese Tomb with Extinct Gibbon Bones Around 2,300 years ago, a gibbon was interred in the tomb of a high-status member of ancient Chinese society. It wasn't until recently that archaeologists discovered the tomb. A team of experts stumbled upon a tomb in Shanxi province in central China. The tomb was believed to be the resting place of Lady Xia, the grandmother of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. Other animals were discovered in the tomb, including a black bear, a lynx, and a leopard. But the most intriguing was the rare gibbon that had unique features. Unlike the ones that are alive today, scientists claim the gibbon interred in the tomb had a relatively flat and small face. Because of its delicate features, scientists named this creature Junzi Imperialis, which roughly translates to scholarly gentleman in Chinese. Number 9. Russian Woman Discovers Worm in Her Face If you're scared of worms, you might want to brace yourself. A woman in Russia went to her doctor after discovering lumps on her face. Initially believing they were tumors or cysts, the woman was already alarmed. It turned out there were more reasons for her to freak out. The examination revealed that the 32-year-old woman's face had a lump due to a parasitic worm living in her face, more specifically in her lips and upper eyelid. It was possible that the woman got infected by the parasitic worm after being bitten by an infected mosquito. You don't need to worry though because instances like these are incredibly rare. Number 8. Uranus smells like rotten eggs. Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun and the third largest planet in our solar system. This planet is a gaseous planet and researchers have long wondered what it smells like. Well, it turns out that it smells nasty. More specifically, it smells like rotten eggs. Uranus is a gas giant primarily composed of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The presence of methane on the planet is what gives it its blue-green color. As methane absorbs red light, and reflects blue-green light. Methane is also responsible for the planet's unique odor. Researchers have discovered that Uranus's upper atmosphere is composed of hydrogen sulfide, a gas that smells like rotten eggs. The smell of rotten eggs may not sound particularly pleasant, but it is a valuable discovery for scientists studying Uranus. The composition of a planet's atmosphere can provide valuable clues about how it formed and evolved over time. Analyzing Uranus's upper atmosphere can help researchers better understand the planet's composition and history. Number 7. Frankenstein Bodies In 2019, FBI agents stumbled upon a nasty discovery after raiding a body donation center in Arizona. Inside the warehouse, they discovered a large refrigerator containing human limbs and other body parts, but the parts weren't stored in a proper manner. What's more, the authorities also discovered a Frankenstein-like creation. They discovered a human head that was sewn onto another person's body like a twisted human experiment. The discovery was incredibly upsetting, and even the authorities present at the scene were extremely appalled by what they saw. The human body shop sold body parts illegally with a specific price for each body part. For instance, an entire human body without the head was being sold for $2,900. An entire spine was being sold for $950, and the pelvis was being sold for $400.
Needless to say, those responsible for the center were sued and captured by authorities. Number 6. Largest Turtle in Europe In 2022, a giant turtle was discovered in Europe. However, this giant turtle doesn't exist anymore. Leviathan Achelis enigmatica is a recently discovered extinct sea turtle that lived approximately 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. The name Leviathan Achelis enigmatica is derived from the Greek words Leviathan, which means sea monster, Chelis, which means turtle, and enigmatica, which means mysterious. The name is fitting as the species was indeed a sea monster, measuring over 10 feet long and weighing up to 2 tons. It's believed that this species had a diet mainly consisting of squid and other small marine organisms. What makes Leviathan Achelis enigmatica particularly fascinating is its unique anatomy. Unlike modern sea turtles, Leviathan Achelis had a streamlined shell and flippers that were adapted for swimming rather than crawling on land. Its shell was also equipped with a series of bony plates that served as armor against predators. These plates were arranged in a distinctive pattern that's unique to this species. Leviathan Achelis enigmatica also provides insight into the ecology of the late Cretaceous period. During this time, sea levels were much higher than they are today, and much of the world's land was submerged underwater. This provided a vast habitat for marine organisms, including sea turtles. Leviathan Achelis enigmatica was likely a top predator in the late Cretaceous oceans, feeding on smaller marine organisms and possibly even other sea turtles. Number 5. Cannibals at Goff's Cave Goff's Cave, located in Somerset, England, is one of the most famous prehistoric sites in Europe. It was first explored in the 19th century, and since then, it's revealed numerous insights into the lives of our ancestors. One of the most striking finds in Goff's Cave was evidence of cannibalism among the early humans who once lived there. Recently, evidence of cannibalism was discovered in the cave, suggesting humans who lived there about 14,700 years ago ate human flesh. The discovery of cannibalism in Goff's cave has sparked considerable debate among archaeologists and anthropologists. Some argue that the practice was likely a result of food scarcity and the harsh living conditions of the time. In contrast, others suggest it may have had a ritualistic or cultural significance. Regardless of the reason for cannibalism, the discovery of human remains that were clearly butchered and cooked is a sobering reminder of the harsh realities of life for our prehistoric ancestors. It's also a testament to the resourcefulness and adaptability of early humans, who were able to survive and thrive in even the most challenging environments. Goff's cave has yielded numerous other important discoveries, including some of the earliest known examples of cave art in the world. The cave is also home to one of the largest and most complete collections of remains from the prehistoric era, providing a valuable window into the lives of our ancestors. Number 4. World's First Synthetic Embryo In early 2021, researchers from the University of Cambridge made a significant breakthrough in the field of embryonic development by creating the world's first synthetic embryo. This accomplishment has the potential to revolutionize the field of reproductive biology and could lead to a better understanding of human embryonic development. The synthetic embryo was created using two types of stem cells. The first type of stem cell, known as epiblast-like cells, is responsible for forming the embryo's main body. The second type of stem cell, called trophoblast-like cells, is responsible for forming the placenta, which provides nutrients to the developing embryo. By mixing these two types of stem cells together, the researchers were able to create a structure that closely resembled a natural embryo. This discovery will allow us to learn more about the early stages of human development. Due to ethical and moral concerns, it's difficult for scientists to conduct experiments on embryos. But with the discovery of synthetic embryos, it'll be possible for scientists to learn more about the field of reproductive biology. This technology has the potential to provide new insight into human embryonic development and to help couples struggling with infertility. It's important to continue to have discussions about the ethical implications of creating a synthetic embryo. As we move forward with this technology, it's essential to ensure that we use it ethically and responsibly. Number 3. Wreck of Sir Ernest Shackleton's Endurance Discovered In August 1914, Sir Ernest Shackleton and his team of 27 men embarked on what was supposed to be an epic journey across the icy continent of Antarctica. But after their ship, the Endurance became trapped in ice. 
The team was forced to abandon the vessel and make a harrowing trek across the ice to safety. The story of the Endurance has since become a legend, but for nearly a century, the ship's wreck remained lost, presumed to be buried deep beneath the ice. It wasn't until 2019 when an expedition led by the Schmidt Ocean Institute set out to explore the waters off the coast of Antarctica that the Endurance wreck was finally discovered. The trip used a state-of-the-art autonomous underwater vehicle to search the ocean floor. After several weeks of scanning the area, they were able to locate the remains of the ship nearly a mile below the surface. The discovery of the Endurance wreck was a remarkable achievement, not only because it solved a long-standing mystery, but also because it shed new light on the story of Shackleton and his team. The wreck was remarkably well-preserved, with many of the ship's features, including its boilers and propellers, still intact. The team also took high-resolution images of the wreck, which provided a detailed view of the ship's condition and helped confirm its identity. But the discovery of the Endurance wreck was more than just a feat of technology. It was also a testament to the power of human perseverance and curiosity. The search for the wreckage was driven by a deep desire to uncover the truth about a pivotal moment in history and to pay tribute to the bravery and determination of the men who had been on board. And the discovery of the wreck has inspired new generations of explorers and adventurers to continue pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Of course, the discovery of the Endurance wreck also raised important questions about the future of Antarctica and the impact of human activity on the planet. Earth is an ever-changing planet after all, and we'll never know what the future holds. Antarctica is far from the icy continent it was decades ago. Number 2. Origin of 30,000-Year-Old Venus of Willendorf This strange figure is the Venus of Willendorf, and it's one of the most bizarre artifacts ever discovered. This small but striking sculpture depicts a woman with exaggerated curves and prominent features, such as her large breasts, rounded belly, and thick thighs. While we cannot be certain of the exact origins of the Venus of Willendorf, there are a few theories that attempt to explain its creation. First of all, despite being named after the Roman goddess Venus, this figure wasn't created after the goddess, mainly because it was created more than 30,000 years ago. It's far too old to be related to the Roman goddess. One possible explanation is that the Venus of Willendorf was a fertility symbol, representing the idealized form of a woman who could bear healthy children. This interpretation is supported by the emphasis on the figure's reproductive organs, as well as her exaggerated proportions which may have been seen as desirable traits, a woman who could produce healthy offspring. Additionally, some scholars have pointed out that similar figurines have been found in regions associated with fertility cults, further supporting this theory. Another theory suggests that the Venus of Willendorf may have been a form of self-portraiture created by a woman as a way to depict her own body. This interpretation is based on the fact that the figure's features are highly stylized and not entirely realistic which could indicate that the artist was trying to capture a particular vision of herself, rather than an objective representation. Some have even suggested that the figure's size and shape may have been intended to be held or carried as some sort of talisman, providing comfort and protection to the person who made it. And now it's time for today's topic. Scientists just announced a terrifying new discovery. Do you know about wormholes? Physicist John Wheeler popularized the concept of wormholes in the 1950s, Wheeler proposed that space-time was not a fixed structure, but rather a dynamic entity that could be influenced by matter and energy. According to Wheeler, wormholes could be created when a large amount of matter or energy distorts the curvature of space-time. The idea of wormholes remained largely in the realm of science fiction until the 1980s, when physicist Kip Thorne began to explore the concept in greater detail. Thorne was interested in using wormholes as a way to explore the universe and he worked with a team of physicists to develop a mathematical model of how they might work. Wormholes, also known as an Einstein-Rosen bridge, is a hypothetical place that connects two points in space-time. One of the most intriguing possibilities of wormholes is that they could allow for faster-than-light travel. If a stable wormhole could be created by two points in space, it would be possible to travel between them almost instantaneously, since the distance traveled would be significantly reduced. However, creating a stable wormhole remains a significant challenge. The exotic matter needed to stabilize a wormhole has never been observed, and it's unclear whether it's even possible to create such matter. 
Even if it were possible to create exotic matter, it's not clear how it could be used to create a stable wormhole that could be navigated safely. While wormholes sound incredible, our knowledge might not be enough to stop any grave consequences if we somehow manage to create them. Despite the challenges, the study of wormholes continues to fascinate physicists and the general public alike. The possibility of faster-than-light travel and communication is a tantalizing one, and the exploration of the universe through wormholes remains a popular theme in science fiction. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. The Painted Mummies in Egypt It seems there's a never-ending treasure trove of archaeological discoveries in Egypt. The Fayum mummy portraits are a collection of ancient Egyptian paintings discovered in the Fayum region of Egypt. These portraits date back to the Greco-Roman period, specifically between the 1st century BCE and the 3rd century CE. The portraits are of people who lived during that time and were painted on wooden panels, which were then attached to the mummy wrappings of the deceased. These portraits provide invaluable insights into the lives of ancient Egyptians during this period. The Fayum mummy portraits were first discovered by European travelers in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The portraits were found in burial sites in the Fayum region, located in the southwestern region of Cairo. The paintings were well-preserved and had not been seen by anyone in over a thousand years. These well-preserved artifacts provide a glimpse into the lives of ancient Egyptians that were previously unknown. One of the most striking features of the Fayum mummy portraits is their lifelike quality. The paintings depict real people with individualized features, including wrinkles, scars, and other facial details. The portraits were painted using a combination of techniques, including encaustic painting, which involves the use of heated wax mixed with pigments. This technique allowed the artist to achieve a high level of detail and realism in the portraits. The portraits also depict people from different social classes, and their clothing and jewelry reflect their status. The paintings also show how fashion changed over time, with some portraits depicting people wearing traditional Egyptian dress, while others show people wearing Roman-style clothing. The portraits were attached to the mummy wrappings of the deceased, and they were intended to serve as a substitute for the head of the deceased in the afterlife. The portraits were also designed to help the deceased identify themselves with the gods and gain entry into the afterlife. Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.